tera we nam yeah I do meli tera we got Toka do tera kisumo I do meli tera we nam Ay ay tera de amba kisumo Ay ay tera de amba kisumo kisumo ber kisumo Etera de aba kisumo kisumo ber kisumo ya watera de ane kisumo Etera de ane kisumo I can see you are a good dancer you know Okay thank you Susanna for this interview it's been a while I know Alex I mean it's been uh, ages yeah. let me say it's been ages I remember we met in the US at some point was it during Obama's inauguration were you there um, no, you no, no 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 I it was, was it um, yeah. Smithsonian Folklore yeah, Festival? Yeah. Some <laughs> in Washington DC, I can't remember. But Great. Yeah. And um, you are welcoming, I'm sure you've said Kisu, uh, Luo is a culture, Luo is a lifestyle, but you blend well with other communities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, because I've lived in Thika, something people don't know. I grew up in Thika anyway, you know, and I speak fluent Kikuyu anyway. But what I credit my dad or my parents uh, about is uh, the fact that they made me learn my native language. I think every child, you know, like, look at the generation now. Uh, most children hardly speak, hardly speak um, their, mother their, their mother tongue. So for me, it's a plus. And, uh, you know, when it comes to composition, uh, composing my music, I find it unique because um, I sing, I'm so comfortable singing in duo, and nobody can do it better than, than me. So, you know, it's something unique. Yeah. Okay. And tell us about the, your art center and what it does and what have been your achievements so far. Well, I would say um, Susanna Uyo Art Center is located at Riyadh Hills. Basically, uh, as a musician, I felt I owe Kisumu people something, you know. And um, I decided to see how best um, I can create a platform to really support um, the young talents who are coming up. So it's, uh, that has been my dream. I'm yet to achieve it. So we are, I'm in this phase one, you know. So far, um, of course, it's, it's a recreation center. We, we've had, a, we ha we've had uh, events happening, activities. We have families coming, uh, enjoying, you know, the, 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 the scenery, you know, because when you're up the hill there, you see the beauty of Kisumu. You can, you know, the site is so, so, so so good you know you have the view of the the airport you have the view of the city you have the view of the lake where else can you have that in kenya you know so that's why i'm saying um there's so much kisumu can offer and i believe that uh, uh my art center will definitely um s create a platform in supporting the the growing talents that are within kisumu so that is in the plan i've worked with a number of musicians and what i always tell them uh when now they decide to go solo or have a solo career i always encourage them and especially female musicians i love working with female musicians a lot so and I, I normally tell them you know fine you you can have a great voice you can have a beautiful voice but i think i'd want to challenge you get something play something because i feel um uh, we were just not made to to sing we can still play an instrument for example i picked up the guitar and i'm playing that's your background there's some who are teachers maybe then are singing others are who a doctor but for you what's your background hi my background i'm just a musician what can i say Be besides that of course uh, through music i've been able to to work with uh, various uh, organizations and um, of course uh, currently i'm uh, um, un environment goodwill ambassador you know that that came i've, I've worked with plan international supporting cultural education so okay there's music but there's also the me who is also I would say a mentor to, to many out there. Through my music, I've been able to use my voice to advocate for, 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 for change, you know, or to advocate for issues that are affecting the society. Mm -hmm. So that, that alone, was, of course, um, I feel that, uh, of course, there's more responsibility into what I'm doing, mm -hmm. yes. And there are those who may want to know about your parents. My parents, my, my, my dad is there, my mom is there. Of course, when I was starting my music, um, it was really hard for them, you know, like 
just to convince them or they, when somebody, somebody would tell them, oh, you know, your daughter is a singer, is a dancer, I don't know, somewhere, oh, my dad couldn't take it. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, those days. Yeah, because yeah, parents, our parents, you know, um, when I, I grew up, uh, of course, my parents were strict. Any, any parent mm. would want to protect their, mm. their child, you know. And being a, a female singer, for example, you know, there's so much that happens, a lot of temptations out there. But I thank God I didn't lose focus. You know, I always say um, there's something called discipline. I knew why I was getting into music. A lot of us, maybe they get into entertainment or music for fun. A lot of us have different reasons. But um, I thank God because as I got into it in the process, I came to understand myself. And really, I knew I had a responsibility and I had a purpose that I wanted to, I wanted the world to hear. I wanted the, uh, the world to hear my message, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but years later, they are my number one fans. Yeah, including my siblings. Of course, my daughter. I have a daughter. She's 16 years now, a teenage daughter. Um, I don't know the direction she wants, but uh, well, I can't suppress um, a talent. You know, I will support. How many numbers have you have you produced, and which one is your best? Oh my! Like, uh, well, uh, I have three albums now um, at the moment. I'm working on my latest album, which should be out in 2019. Yeah, this is now coming out for real, because I've been saying, oh, it's coming out, it's coming out. Yeah, but uh, my best, oh, all of them, you know, peop I have a reason to just love them, you know, each and every, uh, each and every song, because each and every song has, um, um, has a different, different touch, different meaning, you know, so as much as People's favorite is always that Kisumu that people know. But I would say my favorite, my favorite songs or song, I would, I would just pinpoint um, actually all. You know, I would just say all are, all are good songs. Yeah. Want to give us a teaser to share with us this, what is coming. Eh? Oh, what is, you, you want? You, yeah. Oh, my. The, the, new, the new album, that would be the fourth. The fourth, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So the fourth, I've done something with... Uh, one artist, um, renowned artist uh, from Nyanza, is called Johnny Junior. I don't know if you know John Junior. So this is a collaboration because I'm also looking at how can I also collaborate with fellow um, fellow musicians locally and see how best we can improve also our our music. You know, yeah. Kamike lo no we mondi, kamike lo no we mondi, why albura, why albura buro chopo, enango mati more, enango mati more awa, pini rumo, rumo to wakia pini liel, liel to wakia pini rumo. Rumo to wakia pini liel, liel to wakia. Enango mati more, enango mati more, enango mati more yawa. Kose pini rumo, rumo to wakia pini liel, liel to wakia. Ni meona mambo, mambo mengi mambo, mambo mambo mambo. Mambo mengi mambo Dunia ya eleke ya kuwisha jamani Dunia ya eleke ya kuwisha eh. Mila yetu utamaduni wetu Tume utupili ya mbali Mbona tuapuza mitindo ya kale Tuliko sea wapi jamani na uliza wow. <laughs> Yeah. So what is it about? Or what is the meaning? Um, it's just about uh, our cultural values, you know. Uh, it's like we are living in a lost society. The parents have become so busy, they don't have time for their children. You find the generation we are raising is completely lost. So I'm just saying we need to create time, mm -hmm. you know, to make us say wapi. Mila yetu tume nini? Mitindo yetu tume. No, 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 no. Okay. The song is called Odonjo Kosoko Donjo. That okay. is, I will explain <laughs> that when I meet you next time. Yeah? Okay. 